Quickly before we start, I am not a pro player or experienced player in Mordow. This is a fun idea I've had in mind after watching Gaiden's video about each weapon in Mordow, which heavily inspired me to make this video. Uh, and this video is about me making, uh, me about playing every a match with every single weapon in Mordow, and this is in sort of a more sum up of the uh, entire experiment. Uh, I do run really use the I do you run the same armor which is two two one and two two zero, but I use my leftover points for whatever perks I want, which is bloodlust and usually small perks like rush or other things. Uh, and I will give a short opinion, tips and tricks, and my, and a rating of the each weapon. And don't forget to enjoy the video. The cleaver is a very interesting weapon. It's kind of like the funny from from TF2, but of more now. By pressing mouse one constantly, you just kind of win. As you can see in the clip that I chose for this, you can just keep pressing mouse one, and people just die. Uh, then it's so easy to get um, agitated and stressed against a cleave player that sometimes people just lose their minds, not knowing how to stay calm against the thing. Now the dagger. It's not much of a popular opposite of the cleaver, where. The worst option of the cleaver, which is the swing, deals about 20 head damage, and where the worst option of the dagger is about 48 head damage. Um, when finding a dagger, is basically like a slightly faster rapier, and that is shorter. And the tip here is to kind of use both stabs and swings to keep your opponent guessing, but try to prioritize stabbing, as you can see in the clip, for target switching, because they're faster and deal more damage. Short surge is basically, if the dagger and cleaver had a baby, it has mini strikes and stab damage, both of the attacks are on the same speed. The speed is beating Cleaver's stab animation damage with about uh, 25 milliseconds. Just combine the tips uh, from the previous mention, the short weapons, and you'll, pre you'll be fine. Exactly, at least. Um, don't quote me on that. The quarter staff, which is probably my most hated weapon in this game, is a very fast and agile weapon which you can uh, use to do stuff like feints, as you can see in the gameplay, it's a very draggy and accelerate the weapon. Not really draggy, but definitely accelerate, and it focuses around just fooling your opponent, and uh, depending on their weapon speed being lower. I'd like to say that the arming sword is actually probably one of my favorite weapons in the game. Sadly, I'm not that good at using it, but I use it in my naked loadout, and I'm really fond of it. Uh, I personally use it also in my. I, it is my first skin that I spent uh, over a thousand or some, over about over twenty, over two thousand on skins, and you can see I have the fifteen thousand skin on right now in the footage. Uh, I recommend this weapon and it's very fast. It's kind of like the short sword, but slightly better in both damage and speed. The axe is sort of a cleaver of the axe family, which means it's extremely fast paced and it has very good swing damage. As you can see in this video, I tend to not use swings because, I mean not use stabs, because um, it's just so bad compared to the swings. And uh, as you can see that it's kind of like the same thing as a cleaver, you can just usually spam mouse one and people will die because they'll die, you know, they'll die. The Warhammer is basically a stop on hit a heavy hand axe, which I do not actually personally recommend using this weapon. It's kind of slow for what it is. It's stop on hit and it actually kind of has mediocre damage. As you can see, like I struggled very hard to get a proper clip. I just bullied this guy off and kind of got a lucky hit on that guy and did some drags and excels and it actually worked. So maybe give this weapon a try if you're into a variety. The Falchion is a weird weapon. It, it for some reason feels weak, you know, at least to me. Uh, as a one-handed weapon that is quite big also looks sort of weird for what it is. Um, it was probably one of my least enjoyed uh, one of my least enjoyed weapons on this list, you know, alongside the quarter staff and the war hammer. And I don't really have much to say about this. You can use it with a with a shield and that's kind of it. The heavy hand axe, it's such a fun weapon. It feels powerful, it is powerful, it has so much opportunity for one of the axes and other combo stuff that I feel like it's it's it it's super cheap for what it is and I think it's actually a primary worth primary worth weapon, but it, it's just that it's a uh, axe. You have a hammer on the back so you can also repair or Repair, 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 repair things and also your axe deals more damage to vehicles and buildings. The short spear is, in my opinion, one of the cheapest uh, one VX viable weapons besides the heavy hand axe. It's so fun to use, and it actually is very still viable against armor targets. As you can see in this video, I am 
doing a well a soft 1v2 uh, that guy killed his teammate and then i uh, used the range plus a quick and very in and very high damaging stab to kill that other guy and it's such a good target switch weapon because of the fast and good stabs that i think you should give it a try you may have been noticing a pattern with uh, stop and hit weapons on in this video so far i am not a big fan of them but uh, mace is probably my most enjoyable one besides alt modes on stuff like pearl axes it's a very high damaging uh, mace weapon which is quite cheap and can even deal up to 50 damage per hit on armored targets like level 3 we're talking here so it's actually pretty good i just don't like it personally the rapier the ultimate cock lord swashbuckler looking weapon it basically if you use the rapier you're a cock lord if you use the weapon if you use a rapier with a shield you're a cock lord if you try to stab with the rapier you're a cock lord basically this is just a longer range slightly more damaging dagger which is able to one shot unarmored heads and that's kind of it for the weapon it has a very terrible stamina defense so it's usually paired with a shield and then you're even bigger of a cock lord so the Bastard Sword is a interesting weapon. I did not personally like it. I hate it. It's one of my most hated weapons in this entire list of cheaper weapons. And I think that um, just run like a heavy hand axe, for example. It, it, it the, Its ultimate just lets you hold it with two hands, which doesn't really do that much. Uh, though the animations can be used to fake people out, which is like the only good thing. The Master is just a longer bastard sword basically it's kind of a mix of the long sword and the bastard sword which i don't mind that much and the messer definitely does feel more powerful and is more enjoyable as it's longer and a little bit safer to use and kind of my actually like i think if i played with enough i could probably get used to it and you should try it out as well it's and tell me probably what you think and if i'm missing something with this weapon because i think it's pretty nice but it's missing something the bullhook is the first proper polearm on the list, which is also the cheapest polearm. The, the bullhook has a very uh, unique power, which lets you deal knockback, that is negative knockback basically. It, it pulls people in instead of away from you when you uh, attack them. And also, it can dismount people on horses by either stab or strike, which is a huge plus if you are annoyed by horses and if you need you, your team to take out the horse on the opposite team. The longsword is the most generic ever weapon in any sort of movie or game that is medieval. The longsword is a weapon that you can use in alt mode to deal extra damage against armor and basically turn it into a stop and hit weapon which is a little bit worse. But it's generally a well balanced weapon with quick, with quick attacks, very good XL and drag possibilities and it's generally a very, well, probably one of the most well rounded weapons in Mordal. Oh boy, the war axe. I, this clip is actually the perfect uh, explanation of the war axe. It's such a dumb weapon. Uh, it's like the it's basically the most flamethrower weapon from TF2 of this entire game. More than the cleaver. I, I don't understand how this happens. It's such a fun weapon to use that it's not even funny. And look, uh, thank you for watching the video, guys. Um, this is part one of two. That is coming up soon. It's just been so difficult for me to actually find and be able to play the game enough to get clips required. And once again, thank you so much for guys for watching. If you made it this far, I'll make sure to follow me on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube, and pay attention. And hopefully join me on future videos. It took me effort and thank you for watching.